guys. Hope you had a good old Christmas and a new year. Thought I'd um, give you a nice update on what's going on on my channel. And um, yeah, I'm just driving to my car motor factor to sort out the Peugeot. Peugeot, I've done a uh, pre MOT on it, and basically, I spotted the uh, top mount on it, it's gone. So I'm just doing that now. I'm going to go and buy it. I'm going to go and buy some window wipers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And hopefully, I'll get it booked in for MOT maybe tomorrow or Monday. And then that'll be all ready. And, and obviously, it needs detailing and sorting out. After that, we can sell it. Uh, the Renault, what's the update on that? The Renault McGann, um, obviously, I sorted out the. Um, the issue with the DPF, as you saw in my last video, that just needed the oil uh, changing because it had <coughs> <coughs> oil dilution. Sorry, guys, I've had that bug for the last freaking three weeks. It's bloody horrible. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on in my channel. Subaru, I need some tyres for that because it's got no MOT and the tyres are completely slit and ruined. So there's nothing to be really done with that one. This weather is doing my bloody nutting and every time it rains, I go outside, just about to do something and get the peas down. So that is why it's bloody annoying. So obviously you've got two cars plus the Subaru. Um, and the uh, the Mini 1, the, what was it? One, oh yeah, 1.4 petrol, 2010 plate. Obviously I checked all the head gasket, everything else. I also put some, I changed the uh, VV, not VVTs, the, the um, oh, what are they called? Um, the valve solenoids, changed the valve solenoids, and also swapped them over, and it swapped it all over, and it made no difference. So I think it's the timing chain, I think, but I didn't want to get in spending loads of money on that one because. I've got two other cars sitting, I've got a Subaru where it's worth quite a bit of money, it's just sitting there doing nothing, so I, I need to shift them. So basically I just chucked it on eBay, I've paid a thousand pounds for it, I've got a thousand and seventy back, so I've got my money back for it, and obviously I can add that back and uh, do the other two little bangers that I've got, the Renault and the uh, Peugeot, and then that will go in the pot, and then sort out the Subaru, sell the Subaru, and uh, we'll have a nice big chunk of money to get another car. But obviously in the meantime, Subaru is quite an expensive car to sell. So what I'll do is I'll sell the Peugeot and the Renault. And uh, I'll use that money to buy another one or two cars. And then we'll just carry on flipping it and, over and see how far we go. Right, obviously I'm back on this car. This is the update. I gave it a bit of a hoover. Let's see if it actually opens. Uh, what's the key? So many keys. Hang on one second. Right. Yeah. Give a little bit of a hoover. Only quickly. Just so it's not mouldy anymore. Because uh, obviously that was all mouldy and everything else. So I cleaned it out a bit. My shed at the moment. So that's a bit tidier. As you can see. And basically what I've done is... This is all up and running now because obviously I showed you in the last video the crankshaft sensor was gone. So that's um that it was snapped sorry from the belt because obviously someone didn't do the maintenance. So at the moment I've been doing my pre-check for the MOT because it's got no MOT on it. And basically um the only thing I can find out is I need window wiper, brand new ones because they're both totally shot. And I've also to have the uh, top mount changed so I'm literally doing that at the moment I was videoing it but I've lost all the bloody video so I can't actually show anyone but it's all quite quite straightforward to be honest it's just uh, two bolts on the shock um, you got the one there as well the nut there take that one off and um, yeah basically you got an allen key and another nut on the top of the top mount and pull it out so that's in the boot at the moment. I've just got to put a new um, top mount and bearing on because they're totally shot. I could literally shake the whole shock. But when I took it for a test drive after it was all running, um, that's what I spotted. Also, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the gearbox might be buggered on this. But I haven't gave it a proper drive. It might be to do with that shock shaking. So once that shock, actually, the um, the top mount turns up, 
I'll be able to fit that if it actually doesn't rain because every time I come out here to try and do it, it bloody rains with good old UK weather. It's doing my nutting lately. And obviously, because I've got no garage, I'm the driveway king. Sitting on the drive on a nice wet floor all the time. I also got hypothermia out here. So, yeah, things you do, eh, for a bit of money. So, all right, anyway, that's for this one. So this is all running now and uh, drives. I can't remember the mileage, one of them in, yeah. So it just needs a good old valet, all the seats and that. I've just done a quick hoover and just, I haven't even wiped it over. Got a bit of service history. So I think this owes me about a grand, something like that. So I did get it quite cheap to be honest. It's only done 117, done service history. It's on the 12 plate, probably get about two and a half, three grand for it. Um, it's the 308E. Uh, yeah, E is basically like, supposed to be apparently a mini hybrid where, the, where it's got a stop start feature, which I don't know what that means, but fair enough. Obviously I know what a stop start is, but the 308E is something to do with uh, it charges the battery at the same time it's got like a very expensive alternator it's about five six hundred quid which i nearly had a heart attack because i thought it's broke but it's all running fine now also if anyone likes this this is my son's car it's the vxr uh two litre turbo whatever maybe i could do a video of that if anyone likes it go out on it it's pretty quick me and him are going to actually um once the subaru's up and running we're going to race each other and see what's actually better. Hopefully a Subaru should hopefully fly past him, but we're not sure yet. And also this is the McGann sitting up the road right out of the way. Remember this McGann guys? Well anyway, I found out it's got no locking wheel nut. So I've had a bit of a fun time. I smashed one off. And um yeah. Kind of where's it gone? Is it this one? It's not that one. The tires are all good on this. It's not that one. That's that's the one I managed to fix. <laughs> and yeah, long story short, I'm not sure what one it is. I think I did leave the socket in there because I can get it out. I oh, know I might have done it in the end. Anyway, like I just said. This is it all clean, just quick hoovered, washed. Which I have hoovered and washed, but I'm gonna have to get some anti back on it because the seats have just gone a bit mouldy again. But this is a bit of an update, you saw it all, it's all smashed. The windscreen, I mean the windscreen, the window. All the backs all nice and clean, no glass anywhere. It's come out really nice actually, to be honest, and this ain't even been cleaned properly. This was just a quick clean over. Uh, what's this side? Yeah, it's come out. There's obviously glass literally everywhere because this window is smashed. I'm doing a slight little repair on this, which will be I'll be sanding all that down all nice and smooth and then blend that in because there's a little chunk out of it, but that'll be sorted quite easy. This seat. Looks like it's just gone mouldy again, so there must be something in it. Oh no, look at that! That's all cleaned. It's only been there a few days. Right, better put something on that. It's only done 110, and I think I paid about 900, maybe a grand for this. So it's only got about three months of MIT on it. I should get about two, two, two and a half grand, because obviously it's a lever, it's a 1.9. It's got no service history though, but I've gave it a full service already. Um, what else is there? Obviously it's called keyless entry and all that. It's not a bad car to be honest. It just needs a really good polish and clean. There's no actual major. There's obviously this as a scuff, but that'll easily polish out. Perfect family car for someone. All the tires are all good. Uh, I need to get a bit of a trim on there. Um, yeah, the mirror it's, needs, it's still smashed still, so I need to replace that. Apart from that, the car's quite good. Let's look it up. 
So anyway guys, I thought I'd just give you guys an update because you probably wonder where I am and what I'm doing but obviously where this weather is so crap all the time in the UK and I'm down south east as well so I'm right by the seaside so it's bloody cold and rainy all the time anyway if you like all this content and you like the update and whatever give us a comment and tell me what else I need to do what else I should do to make this channel even much better than what it is because I've got like 98% that haven't subscribed and 2% that have which is quite a bad ratio and I can see that a lot of people don't actually view watch my channel with these flipping car series or even flipping these cars because I don't know if they're boring or it's me or people just don't like it that much but how I see it is I do this all the time so I thought I'd just show you guys about it all and how it all works and whatever. There'd be more interesting stuff going on. Um, but I have noticed that a lot of people prefer me doing how-to videos. Like how to do a cam belt, how to do tyres, how to do brakes, uh, doing loads of work on the Audi uh, Q7. I get lots of views on the uh, Q7 where I've got like alternator, um, starter motor, all that sort of stuff. So maybe I should stick to all the automotive repairing bits and forget about this flipping channel. But I was actually going to carry on doing the flipping because obviously I still want to get to a 15 grand car. So I will crack on with that still, but not as fast as it is because I think if I want my channel to grow, I need to start doing my more automotive stuff where I'm actually repairing cars all the time. But lately I keep buying bangers, like this one was a banger. Obviously it's uh, had a DPF light on and need the oil changed because it had an oil dilution and all that sort of stuff. Which is all sorted and one's perfect now. So, and obviously the Peugeot was a bit of a banger because it was a non-starter. So people like all these non-starters and I keep buying non-starters and I fix them all up and see what we can do. But I'm not sure what else to how I can make this channel even bigger. I was actually thinking of buying co-part cars and repairing them because my mechanical knowledge would be brilliant if I buy a non co-part car and try that. But it sucks a bit because I ain't got a garage. There's no garage local around here because I'm in South East and near, pretty much near Brighton and it's bloody expensive to rent out places around here. I've got, all I've got is a driveway which is the way it is for now until I uh, make a load of money from cars and then maybe I can be yeah, my plan is I'd love to have a dealership or something but that's always people's dreams guys if you like any of this content I'm doing uh, like and subscribe it don't cost you a penny but obviously it helps with the algorithms uh, uh, algorithms algorithms what am I about algorithms no algorithms uh, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon see you later bye